thank you for choosing this video to help you set up your Amazon Fire TV stick. Now, I assume you already have one and are ready to connect it to your TV and set it up. If you haven't yet decided which Fire Stick model to choose, check out my previous video, The Beginner's Guide to the Amazon Fire Stick, which is showing in the link above. Now let's go and check out how easy it is to get up and running with a Fire TV Stick. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. To set up your Fire Stick, you'll need a TV with an HDMI port and Wi-Fi in your home. Inside the box, you'll find the Fire TV stick, remote control along with two AAA batteries for the remote, HDMI extender, documentation, wall plug, and the power cable. First, connect the power cable to the Fire Stick and the other end to the power adapter. Next, plug your Fire Stick into an HDMI port on the back of your TV. Or use the HDMI extender to add more flexibility. Connect the power adapter to a power outlet. Alternatively, if your TV has a 5 volt USB port, you can power your Fire Stick from the USB port instead of using the power adapter. Turn on your TV and change the input to the source the Fire Stick is plugged into. Put the AAA batteries into the Fire Stick remote. Before you begin setting up your Fire Stick, it's a good idea to familiarise yourself with the buttons on the remote and what they do. You can use the directional circle on your Fire Stick remote to move up, down, left and right around the screen. In the middle of the directional circle is the select button. The home button will take you back to the home screen at any time and the button with three lines on it is used to open a menu for additional options and settings. The back button takes you back to the previous screen. All Fire Stick remotes are compatible with Alexa, so you can hold down the microphone button and give an instruction or ask a question. What's the weather going to be like today in London? Currently, in London, England, it's 20 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. The play, pause, fast forward and rewind buttons are pretty much self-explanatory and are used to control video playback. Your Fire Stick will start to look for the remote control. Press the home button on your remote to pair it with your Fire Stick. Once it's recognised, press the play pause button to start. Use the directional button on the remote to tap down the list to choose your preferred language. Highlight your choice with the white box and press the select button on your remote. If you're tech savvy, you can scan the QR code using your phone or tablet. This will help you set up your Fire Stick faster by adding your Wi-Fi settings and Amazon account. However, you can continue setting up with your remote control if you prefer the traditional way. Let's stick with the traditional method and continue with the remote. The next step is to connect the Fire Stick to your home Wi-Fi network. Your Wi-Fi should have been detected automatically and will show on the screen. Select your Wi-Fi, enter the password 
and allow the Fire Stick to connect. Next, your Fire Stick will go online to check for updates. Then download and install them. This could take several minutes and your Fire Stick may restart several times when doing its updates. Next, sign in with your Amazon account. Again, this can be done by scanning the QR code or opening a web browser on your phone, tablet or computer and going to amazon.co.uk forward slash code. You will then need to enter this code into the web browser and click continue to register the Fire Stick to your Amazon account. Once successfully registered, select continue, then choose if you want to save your Wi-Fi password to Amazon so that compatible devices can connect faster. Afterwards, you have the option to sync your remote with your TV. This will allow you to control the volume, mute and power on and off your TV using your Fire Stick remote. Follow the instructions on the screen and answer any questions to ensure your remote is paired properly. Depending on your location, you may get offered deals or free trials to check out things like Amazon Kids. Select your options to continue. Then you'll be asked if you want to select any apps to install. Again, these will vary depending on your location and what apps are available where you are. Choose the apps you're interested in, then press the play pause button on your remote to confirm. You will now be asked one final question regarding parental controls. You can choose to enable them or not. If you decide to enable them, you can also set up child profiles. Once you have made your decision, you will finally be taken to the Fire TV home screen and can start using your Fire Stick. Start exploring and enjoy using your new streaming device. There are so many exciting ways to stream content on your Fire Stick that you'll wonder how you ever managed without one. More tutorials for your Fire Stick, Fire Cube and Fire TV can be found on my YouTube channel and my website by going to firetvsticks.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.